What's good everybody, it's your boy Will. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best center build in NBA 2K19. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. My Twitter, uh, my YouTube, and my Twitch have all been filled with questions about it, so I figured I'd just make this video and make it a lot easier for everybody. But, um, first part, doesn't matter at all. Skip right Perfect. ahead. Keep if you guys didn't know, I'm okay. a pure remember type What's next? Uh, I'm going to be going uh, through everything this entire video, position. so don't worry, right I'm going to go really okay. in-depth with it. Um, you're going to want to actually be a power forward instead of a center. I know the title and you know what you would expect is that it's a center, but in reality it's a power forward. The reason for that is because you're a lot faster, you're able to play more defense. Okay, so, uh, your stats actually do change, you know, choosing uh, you please which position. Know what so, your game is like? The badges okay. are also better as well. So Pure Rim, I'm going to go through all the badges one by one for you guys. I'm going to explain them a little bit. So starting off, Defensive Stopper Hall of Fame is actually one of the most overpowered badges in this entire game. So if you guys didn't know how it works, I'm going to explain it real quick. Basically, if you're a power forward, right, Defensive Stopper drops the badges of shooters. It drops the badges of just offensive stats in general. Um, so off rip, you're going to affect all centers and all small forwards. You're going to drop all of their shooting badges completely. The way Defensive Stopper works in general, though, is it's just one position above you and one position below you. So being a power forward is going to be centers and small forwards. In addition to that, any build within three inches of your height, their badges get dropped as well. So for example, say you're playing pro and you're going against a 6'8 shooting guard, uh, pure sharp. You're going to drop all of his badges because he's 6'8 and you're 6'11. Uh, moving on though, charge card, pretty much useless in this game. Uh, it doesn't really do much. Chase Down Artist is actually a great badge. What it allows you to do is when a point guard, a really fast point guard, blows past you and your lockdown, you're able to recover and able to get the block and able to defend him. Bruiser in this game, honestly one of the best badges. Uh, if you don't know, bumping a point guard with Bruiser drops their stamina, makes it easier to get steals, makes it easier for them to turn the ball over. Um, in addition to that, you know, guarding the paint, bumping into people, you're always draining stamina, and it allows your stamina to keep up and stay higher. So. Now, Brick Wall, one of the best badges, again, you're going to be able to set big bodies with a power four, which is pretty crazy, uh, pretty <laughs> pretty overpowered. Uh, if it didn't have Hall of Fame Brick Wall, it really wouldn't be a viable center build because you wouldn't be able to set big enough screens to allow your point guard to get open and make plays. Uh, quick Reflexes, it actually, pretty much the game just steals the ball for you sometimes when you have it on Hall of Fame, but uh, it allows you to react faster in passing lanes and get more steals. Lob City Finisher. I'm going to be honest, it's only on gold, but sometimes it feels like my dude has it on diamond, chrome, platinum. <laughs> my dude literally will dunk on like four to five people. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, Hustle Rebounder. Now, the only downside of making a rim protector, in theory, would be your rebounding isn't as good. You know, you're going to get snagged on by glass cleaners, you're going to get horsed. But in reality, having gold Hustle Rebounder is, you know, way more important than having a good rebounding stat. Just this badge alone allows you to get rebounds over glass cleaners. It allows you to box out really well, so it's essential. Um, pick dodger. I mean, you're really going to be guarding centers most of the time, but anytime that you switch and you're hit by a screen, you're going to be able to get through it faster, so that's always a plus. Pickpocket is a great badge. You're going to be able to pluck point guards. You're going to be able to get steals like crazy. Rim protector, always good. You're going to be able to stop people around the rim. Posterizer actually plays a big part in catching lobs and finishing around the rim. Putback King, self-explanatory, you're going to be able to get more putbacks. Pick and Roller is actually really great. You're going to be able to finish more around the rim after a screen. You're going to be able to catch lobs better on the pick and roll. Relentless Finisher is great. You're going to be able to green um, contested layups. And then Free Throw Ace, also self-explanatory, you're going to be able to hit more free throws. Uh, moving along now. Okay, exactly what we needed. Almost done oh, now. Let's continue. I believe it's height. Stand right up yeah. against the wall there. We're now going to measure height. your height. I went with 6'11. Okay. I believe 6'11 is 100% the best. It makes you extremely fast. You're able to guard 1 through 5 for real. I have clips of me doing it. I'm going to show them at the end of the video for you guys. I'm going to be showing a lot of clips at the end. But I'm um, 6'11, 100% best height. Now, this is going to give you, before you up the weight, because you are going to do that, you're going to have extremely high vertical, extremely high lateral quickness, speed, acceleration. 
you're gonna be like a speed demon out there running around as a 6'11". You're basically a 6'10 lockdown just with better rebounding. So if you were to go seven foot, you guys can see your speed's only a 68. So I think that's, what is that? Around a 10 difference. Yeah, so definitely 6'11". If you have a seven foot, it's not the worst thing. Um, but 6'11 is definitely the best. So. <laughs> You're taller than I expected. <laughs> Okay. You're still doing fine? Do you need a cup of water or anything? No, man, I'm all good. Believe and your living yeah. situation is taken care of? Uh, now yeah. for weight? Yeah, okay. I think so. Since Next you're going to be playing the center position, okay. you want to go heavier. There's a lot of guys that seem to like to leave their weight low on a rim protector. But if you were to leave it just default like this, you're only going to have an 86 strength. You've got to think about 7-3 glass cleaners, 7-3 pole scorers, all have 99 strength. So if they have that much more strength over you, they're going to be able to body you, they're going to be able to make layups over the top of you, get rebounds, box you out, all of that. So you definitely want to up the weight 100%. How much is up to you? If you're going by my recommendation though, 268 is at the point where you reach max strength for this build, 95. As you can see, if you go down just one weight, you have a 94. Um, you can go from 268 to 270 and none of your ch stats change at all. Now, as you can see, 82 lateral cleanness. Now, if you were to go 271, you only have an 81. So the sweet spot of weight is definitely 268 to 270. It's up to you. No difference whatsoever. I went with 270 personally just because it looks okay. cleaner. Okay, one last uh, thing to number. do. We need your wingspan. Okay, yep. sure thing. You're almost there. Just uh, right here? Now, yes. Wingspan. Arms up. This is kind of self-explanatory. You definitely want to max it out. 100% you're a center, you're going to be getting rebounds, you're going to be trying to block shots, you want the longest arms by far. Now what this lowers, I'm just going to go by all the stats right now, go through them all, but 77 standing layup is solid, you know, that's right around all other center builds. 68 driving layup is also solid. Uh, 80 standing dunk is actually really good. One of the most important stats on this build is actually the, the driving dunk, 78, that's really, really good. Once you get 75 driving dunk, you're able to equip a lot of really good dunk packages. Now, you know, I'm going to go over the dunk packages in a future video, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you let me know below. Contact dunk is a 79. It's also solid. Now, the shooting stats in this build, you know, they're not the greatest, but in reality, the way this game is, if you guys, you guys probably already know, you can use set shot 13, you can use base 24, you can green from pretty much anywhere. So the shooting stats, they're, they're still decent for a center, but in reality, it really doesn't matter. My 7-3 pure glass is able to green anywhere. He's got a 48 three-pointer, so you know that really isn't a big factor. Your passing solid. Post offense, really, you can still do it, even though it's a 66. I still am able to green fadeaways. I still do post hop shots. Um, now, the one negative of this build, as I already said, is definitely your rebounding, 81 rebounding. Now, you would think that you're going to get horsed only having the 81 rebound and going against uh, glass cleaners with 99. But if you look, you have an 81 vertical. And actually, in this game, vertical plays a huge part in rebounding. You would be surprised, but having a speed and a really good vertical, you're able to you know, maneuver through bigger players and able to box them out and able to get the board. You can sky over them. You got to think about my 7-3 glass cleaner that I used to play on. His vertical was a 30. His speed was a 30, so I know what it's like to be a slower center, and it's by far way, way worse than this build. You have a 99 steal, which is just ridiculous. A 97 block, ridiculous. 99 shot contest, ridiculous. 81 vertical, 82 lateral quickness. You, you can literally guard any position on this build. Point guard, shooting guard, it doesn't matter. You can, build, you can guard anything because you're so fast, you're able to just shift around the court. Um, 95 strength is already stated. You're not going to get babied at all. I understand that being 6'11", you might think, similar to me in the beginning of the year, I thought, you know, 6'11", you're way too small. You're going to get killed. But especially in prom where it's a 5v5 basketball game, you have four other players that are able to box out, you know, recover for you, help you on defense. Uh, being smaller really, it's honestly an advantage. And I know it's crazy, but it definitely is. Okay, we have so what we need. Along. Simple, right? Yeah. Me, the That's team pretty is much going to be it. Okay. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to show you guys some more clips, but for sure, this is the best build. I really mean, I won't lie to you guys, this is the best build. I really hope this helped you guys out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, so here it is. <laughs> uh, 
If you guys did enjoy, once again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Show me some love below. But uh, other than that, guys, I'm out. Take it easy. The block. I'm gonna get bored. I got free board. Good pass. Good shot. Where did she right away go? Let's go, man. It's all off the jump, oh, man. Play. I'm gone. Pass you. Let's go. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Let's go, man. Let's go, Let's go. go. Good shot, boy. <laughs> I had all the faces. Let's go, man. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs>